Hi everyone. Hi. Today we are talking about being out and about with an invisible disability. Mm -hmm. So, I know Cassandra's got a story in regards to being out and about in a space, a barbecue. Can you tell me what happened? Well, yeah, so a while back, obviously, because we've been in lockdown, I went to a barbecue, I only knew one or two people there, and they were playing some games. You no know, games we used to play back when we were children, you know, um, musical chairs, musical statues, etc., etc. And I really wanted to play, I wanted to play musical statues. Sorry, I wanted to play musical chairs, but I just knew I wouldn't be able to manage because somebody was going to push me, elbow me or something. So I sat out for that one and I actually thought, I've got this thing, it's like I, I just love things like that. And it's, it's really challenging for me to watch people doing those things and having fun and not being able to do it. But then when they said they were going to do musical statues, I thought, I can do that. I can just do a little bit of movement and freeze. So we all play musical statues. Bear in mind, this is all adults, just acting like a bunch of children, but it was really, really fun. And um, so when they started playing musical statues, I was playing and it was all going well, but everyone was doing far too well and nobody was getting out. So some woman decided that she wanted to change it. So first you're standing on one leg, yeah which I managed to do for a little bit, but then she wanted to start telling people to bend down using one foot on the floor and one hand on the floor. And I'm saying, I can't do that. You know, and a few people say, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And this woman just kept banging on, banging on, banging on, and totally oblivious to the fact that maybe people literally can't do that. So then I was there with my partner, Mark, and he just, he didn't even look at me. It's like he could just sense because he just knows how I feel. I get quite conscious about, you know, a bunch of strangers having to say, well, I can't do this because I've got this wrong with me, etc., etc." So he just went up and bearing in mind, he didn't know anyone there. And he just went and said, can I have the mic for a minute? <laughs> and he took the mic and basically said, listen, right? <laughs> That's discrimination. And you don't know if people have got invisible illnesses and disabilities that you can't see. Right, so you can't be discriminate, not everybody can do this, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, the way that he did it, it was like, wow, it just really touched me. I mean, I, I felt a little bit conscious because I think people then realised that he was talking about me. But the fact that he just had my back like that and he just knew, he just knew without looking at me that this was going to be an issue for me and he took the mic and he dealt with it and then, yeah. What did she do? Eventually, somebody else, whose actual barbecue that it was, eventually said, "Okay, no, nah, no, nah, we can't, we can't do that," you know. And then, um, so she didn't say it. No, she didn't say a word. She was just—I don't know, maybe she was drunk, but she was just oh, totally oblivious. Okay. Oh yeah, barbecue, everybody. Yeah, okay. but, but it was just—it was a challenging situation, I will say, you know. And those are the things that we go through all the time because people can't see that there's anything wrong. I looked perfectly fine. Um, how long was that? That's about seven minutes now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Stop. <laughs>